Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Alicia here and today I'm going to show you what I do to minimize um, under eye creasing with my makeup. Um, we all know that makeup does, um, does it do it? enhances our beauty but it can also enhance those areas that we really don't want to people to see like dark spots um under eye circles you know melanoma something that we got going on our skin we you know you use makeup to hide it um so what i'm going to show you are the steps that i take to minimize the creasing under the eyes okay so let's just get into it So the first step you want to do is make sure that you moisturize. I have dry skin so I make sure that my um, skin is moisturized with, um, I use, the stuff that I use is Pond's Dry Skin Cream. I use the, um, it's the one with the blue cap. Um, it's the rich hydrating uh, formula. And I use that all over my face to make sure that my skin is completely moisturized. And then um, the second thing I use is eye cream. Now, I know a lot of people, I use, I'm a big fan of oil of Olay. So I use oil of Olay's, um, what is this, Total Effects 7 in 1. Or I use, um, or I use CeraVe's Eye Repair, um, Eye Repair Cream. I use these at night and in the morning. And this helps to, um, number one, minimize wrinkles. Number two, it helps correct dark circles. And it just keeps my under eye area from getting um, puffy or having that tired look. I use these on my, under my eyes. So I've already done that. I put it under my eyes. I use my ring finger because your ring finger is not going to actually put that much pressure. Like you can press really hard with your index finger. Um but your ring finger or your middle finger but your ring finger for some reason i don't know why i can't tell you i'm not a i can't tell you by anatomy and biology and all that but this actually does help using your ring fingers to put those under your eyes so i've already prepped my skin with the oil of olay um eye cream and so um the next thing i'm going to do is my color correction and what i use to color correct i use actually this because my skin is um is a little bit darker um, I try not to put too much because if I put too much of the or then it shows through on I put this up it down it's the pro concealer if I put too much of this it'll show through under my makeup so I don't use a lot I actually just put it on my ring finger like I said and I tap and when I do this I look up because when you look up, you're actually stretching that part under the eye. So if you're like looking dead in, you see how looking in my eye creases there. But when you look up, it stretches the eye. So that's what I do. I look up as I'm putting this on. And what this is going to do, like I said, this is going to help you prevent creasing under the eyes that's my color correction under the eyes now y'all normally know I do not like to talk during my videos because it's distracting and um I'm just I just like to play my music but today because I have to go through these steps I'm actually going not going to do that and I'm just going to show you guys what I do to um get to get together anyway what I do to to do all this so um what's the next thing because see I have notes here to help me stay on track that's why I don't talk um the next thing I do is since I have, I got a bump coming under my eye. Oh, that's no, that's not good. Well, I'm going to have to roll with it. Anyway, so the next thing I do is, um, so the color correction for any spots. So I'm going to go off camera 
right now to finish doing my makeup and then um, just my not my makeup makeup but just like my foundation and then I will um, come back to show you how I complete making sure that I don't get creases under my eyes okay so I will be right back stay tuned okay so I'm back I've done all oh, I've done my foundation done my eyebrows done everything else I want to do so now I'm going to show you what I do to prevent decreasing under my eyes. I told you I moisturized. Step one was moisturizing. Step two was using a really good eye cream. I showed you the eye creams I use. Either Oil of Olay 7-in-1 or the CeraVe eye, um, eye repair cream. Um, the what did I say 3 was again? Hold on. Let me go back. On. Oh, color correction. Color correction. So I've done the color correction under my eyes. And now the fourth step is to use a concealer um, that's, I use a concealer that's like one, one to two shades lighter. I try not to go lower than that. I really like to try to stick to wh where I am, but I'm, it depends on, let's just say it depends on the look that you're going for. If you're looking for um, an everyday look then use a shade that's close to your skin tone if you're trying to go for a more dramatic look I say use one to two shades lighter if you're trying to go for that whole glam look so today the 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 um, concealer I'm gonna use is Maybelline's Age Rewind this concealer is 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 fantastic the other one I think is really good is the L'Oreal's infallible full wear this is also a good um, um, concealer and I like L'Oreal um, I also have the L'Oreal's age perfect this one is good too I like this one because um, Viola Davis is a sponsor for um, L'Oreal now and you know I'm do I love Viola Davis I stand with L'Oreal Davis so um, the reason why I say you want to use a shade that is yours or a little bit like her because you don't want to get that halo look have you ever seen it? and they look like they got that white around their eyes you're trying to get not to do that so you want to you don't want to do your whole eye anyway what you want to do is what I've learned is to look straight in the mirror and then look down and when you look down you can see where those the dark um, areas are so look into the mirror and then look down while you're still looking and then I don't know if you can see me um maybe if I, so when you look into the camera and look down that's when you can see the um, area so that's what you want to do is you want to tilt and you want to look down and then you want to put the concealer in those areas and that's it and that's what that's going to do is you're going to it's going to force the dark the shadows into those areas that you want to where those areas that you want to hide and so you want to play place those only in those darker areas and then when you um when you get your head back up then you want to um you want to blend out which is going to come to our next step which is step five which is blend up and out so what you want to do is you want to look up and you want to blend out towards the, the outer of your eye. So look up and then blend out. Don't go back and forth. Look up and blend out. Look up and blend out. Because when you look up, you're going to force that area to stretch and that's where you put make sure your concealer goes in because if you start going back and forth you're just going to enhance those wrinkles on your eyes and I know that's not what you want to do so blend up and then out and make sure you look up because you're going to stretch that eye now here's the trick that I use to make sure that I don't get creasy once you put that concealer on take some of your setting spray um, I use the um, Black Radiance Long Lasting Setting Spray. Use this one right here. And just spray it on the back of your hand. Just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just spray it on the back of your hand. And using your ring finger, get some of that setting spray. And just lightly tap 
where you put that concealer. Don't put a lot because you don't want to take off the concealer that you put it on. And then gently tap it in there until it dries. Like I said, don't put too much because then you're just going to wash all the concealer that you put on there. And you just want to tap it until it dries. And you'll know when it's dry. Just tap it. Lightly tap it. And then you're going to take your you're going to take your setting powder. And this setting powder I'm using is by Morphe. It's Morphe's Bacon Set and it's called Translucent, Translucent Rich. And what you're going to do is you're either going to take a pad or your um your what is this one? This is the setting brush. This one's by uh what's some girls? I forget who was by, but it's a it's a it's a setting brush. So what you want to do is you want to take that setting spray and you want to press it. Press it. Don't rub it. Just press it. under the eye so if you want to use your your brush or your uh, makeup pad that's it so just press it in that area and then you're going to take a clean if you have a clean um, brush I like this brush. It's a it's a concealer brush by e.l.f. It's the Flawless Concealer Brush. It's really good though. And I use that to just brush away any loose powder. And that is it. And I'm telling you by the um by the end of the day, you you should see a difference. You're not going to see the creasing in your eyes. Um, mm -hmm. That's it. That's and I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I let me know if it works for you. Um, if it doesn't work for you, I just know that help. It helps me um, prevent creasing throughout the day. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.